in the previous video we discussed the we discussed the plot of the play and we analyze the storyline we analyze the art and art of the play so in this video we are going to be discussing the themes and the thematic analysis in the play uh, so if you haven't watched the first video uh, you try and watch it so that you will have full understanding of the play so we are going to be looking at the themes in the play and uh, i told you earlier in the first video that Wale Shonka is one of the Nigerian playwrights. In fact, he is a Nobel laureate. He's a professor of literature. And the play is based on the Yoruba cosmology and culture in the traditional uh, society where kings rule and uh, the practices that follow the death of a king. So let's look at some of the themes in this play. We have the theme of sacrifice. Yes, this is one of the dominant uh, theme in the play because all about the play is centered on ritual. The killing of uh, a lesson or the plan of a lesson to die and follow the king is also part of the rituals that culminate the passage of the king to the land beyond to the land of the dead so only through a lesson sacrificing himself can be can the ritual be completed and also note that before the lesson could sacrifice himself the horse and the dogs of the king have been killed why were they killed because it is believed in the yoruba traditional system that the king is going to live as a king in the land of the dead and so he has to use his horse there and the dog also have to serve as a security for him in the land of the dead so just the way he lives in the outer world in this earth is believed that he's going to live such kind of life in the land of the dead and so that is why the horseman has to kill himself and follow the king. The horse has to be killed to follow the king. The dogs has to be killed to follow the king. And other sacrifices have to be done to ensure the smooth passage of the king to the land of the dead. So, we saw that when it is delayed, the death of uh, a lesson is delayed, we saw that uh, Olunde who makes the ultimate sacrifice by taking only they make the ultimate sacrifice by taking his own lives and uh, he fulfill the yoruba ritual so sacrifice is very common in the in the play then we have ritual yes this is similar to sacrifice the sacrifice are done to complete the ritual of the king's passage. We see that this king's horseman dying so he can join his master in the afterlife. It's a fascinating component of a Yoruba society, but also functions here as a dying country's last gap in the face of colonial control and the oppression i told you in the plots analysis a video that pickings do not regard the culture of the yorubas as something tenable as something that is good he regarded it as barbaric outdated and shouldn't be practiced in the colonial era so despite that the ritual is important to the Nigerians, to the Yorubas, in all times and places. But there is a special import here in that it is success or failure seems to say a lot about the status of the resistance to the colonizers. 
Can we say that the ritual was successful? Because Olundi killed himself and then unless he strangled himself to death. Can we say it's this successful? We saw the interruption of the uh, practice by the colonial masters. So the ritual was still done because Olunde voluntarily committed suicide to go with the king. And it is believed that when he goes with the king, he is going to be the king horseman there. I told you in the first video, which is uh, the video of the summary and analysis of the plot and the acts, that it is said that if the horseman cannot commit suicide, one reason or the other, his first son has to go with the king, that he has to commit suicide. And then um, this ritual was carried out and Olundi committed suicide. Now, both Olunde and uh, his uh, father, Elesi, are now going with the king. And that is the part of the disruption of the tradition by colonialism. So, this one also, we have colonialism as a major theme in the play. Pickens, his wife, Jane Pickens, we have the resident all of them were interfering with the cultural practice of the Yoruba people in the play. Why Pekins? The first interruption of Peking was taking Olunde from, from his father to go to England and study medical science. It is believed in the, in the Yoruba cosmology that a horseman, his son, has to be a horseman also. For instance, if unless he dies before the king, his son Olunde has to be the next horseman. And if the king dies before the horseman, that is, unless he has to die with the king, and when the another king is installed, is enthroned, then Olunde, the son of the former horseman, has to be the horseman. So it is hereditary. It is a continuum. That is how it is practiced. If your father is a horseman to a king, then when the father dies, you become the next horseman. Or when the father died with the king or committed suicide, you have to be the next horseman. So Olunde was taken to England by the colonial master Peking, and the father was so enraged angry with him, uh, Pekins because Pekin is trying to distort the tradition by not letting the son of the horseman to stay in the countryside and succeed his father. Rather, he took him to England to go and study medical science, which is not part of the uh, uh, family uh, profession. So it is a distortion and also we saw the interference of colonialism when a lesson was arrested and then the king uh, Pekins held him back so that he would not commit suicide. So when the dead body of Olude was taken to the jailhouse and unwrapped and Pekins saw that it is a dead body of Olunde, he was also confused because he believes that Olunde is also is already educated and cannot subject himself to such kind of a barbaric practice. So, holding a lesson will totally erode the tradition. But he was so disappointed that Olunde succumbed to the tradition and killed himself. So, we see that several or several cases in the play, colonialism play a very major role in disrupting the traditional uh, system. So, we have the team of duty. We also see that Elessin and Pekis represent two different views of duty, which they both claim to prize highly. Elessin's duty is to perform the sacred ritual that he was meant to. It means dying for his people and dying in the appropriate fashion, that is, killing himself to follow the king. Then Pekis's duty is to enforce the law of the English colonial empire in Africa. 
which means not allowing the supposed barbaric custom like the King Husman's ritual to continue. So, LSC is seeing Pickens as someone interrupting his duty and also Pickens is also seeing LSC as someone who, who is breaking the law, who is not following the due process of the English law. So, we see the sense of duty at differs in the play. And then also we have another major theme, music, dance, and poetry. Yes, the play opens with praise singing. People singing, dancing, and following uh, the, the horseman, a lesson. So music, dance, and poetry are featured throughout the play. And for the Nigerians, they are fundamentally important part of the ritual. In most Nigerian cultural rituals, it is always accompanied with music, dance, and chants. Chants in form of poetry. So, the music tells the stories, induces trances, and meditation, and reverie, and also brings about transformation and change, and also demonstrates great power and importance. So it is believed that for a successful ritual to be conducted, music, a form of music that goes with the ritual has to be played concurrently when the ritual is being carried out. And that is why we saw people dancing and singing a specific ritual song following a lesson to the marketplace. So these are some of the major uh, teams in the play and also we have the team of life and after death it is believed that after the life on earth the king dies and also goes to the land of the dead and live there again as a king that is the belief system of the Yorubans for some of the colonialists who are majorly Christians believe that after that someone it will be judgment and then probably you go to hell or you go to heaven. No, the Yoruba cosmology does not believe in such a narrative. It is believed that after that you go and meet your ancestors. And if you are a king, you will still be a king there. If you are a subject from earth, you will still be a subject in that system. So it is portrayed, uh, Wallace can portray the life and after death uh, cosmology in, in Yoruba system and uh, the colonial English system. So we have team of gender also very popular. Gender play a very major role in the play. We saw that Yalo Jahu is one of the leaders in the community, is a female. And then we saw also that for somebody to be a horseman for the king, it has to be a male. And that is why uh, a lesson was appointed in the first place to be the king horseman. And um, he, his son was to succeed him. Then we have the characters in the play. Uh, these are the major characters, 10 major characters in the, in the play. We have the Alessi, who is the chief, and the king's uh, horseman, who is supposed to die 30 days after the king died. So Alessi himself prepared to die, but is thwarted from that goal by Pickens. So Alessi is a loud, vivacious, and lost him who enjoys the pleasure of the living and for all his talk of shame seems somewhat hesitant to do to die so he insists in, uh, on marrying a young girl who is already betrothed to the son of a uh, yaloja before dying so can you imagine somebody who is to die tomorrow proposing to a girl today 
I want the marriage to be conducted today. I want to consummate the marriage today before he dies tomorrow. So that action portray a lesson as someone who though he is boasting that he's not afraid of death, but his actions shows that uh, he is not comfortable dying with the king. Then we have the second character, Pekins. Pekins is the district officer who is committed to the duty and enforcing English law, uh, even if it interferes with the um, interferes with the local tradition and ritual. So we saw that Pekin tried to express prejudice and intolerance of the Yoruba cultures and the Nigerians, and is often short and callous with his wife Jane. You know, they do not regard the tradition. They even hate the people practicing it much. They wish everybody become Christians like them. So we have the third character, James Pickens, who is the naive and somewhat ignorant and wife of Jane, and wife of her Pickens. So Jane is more likable than her husband since she tries to understand the Nigerians a bit. So we have another one, which is uh, the praise singer. The praise singer, he sings for a lesson as the chief makes his passage to the other side of life, which is uh, the land of the dead. So the Yaloja also is a major character in the play, the model of the marketplace. She is initially solicitous of all a lesson's need, but is fiercely critical of him after he does not die during the ritual. So we have Olunde, the son of uh, the son of uh, LSA, who went to England and studied medical science, and then returned to the village only to commit suicide in place of his father. Then we have the bride, the bride uh, chosen by LSA for her beauty, and then the bride couples with LSA before he is supposed to depart, and it is assumed conceive his child. She is completely mute and passive, does not even know what to say, confused. And after the consummation of the marriage, it is believed that the bride is already carrying the pregnancy for, uh, for a lesson before a lesson finally died. So we have Amusa. Yes, Amusa is also a force in the play. A major character is Pekin's Nigerian sergeant. Who is offended by his boss, uh, Egungu costumes in the first place of the play? So we saw that uh, he spearheaded the effort to arrest a lesson, and uh, for which he, for which the market women and gays mercilessly, mercilessly taught him. Then, apart from uh, Amusa, we have Joseph, who is Pekin's houseboy, who becomes sullen. When Pekin says something negative about a Christianity, then we have the resident. The resident is Pekin superior, who demand that Pekin control the situation with a lesson carefully. So these are the major characters seen in the play, and also subscribe to the channel so that you can get other videos. We are uploading a lot of videos, analysis of poems of prose, of plays, and other literary uh, texts. So it is important you subscribe so that uh, you get some of the analysis of your literary texts, novels, poems from the channel. So thank you and have a great day.